What's up guys? So today I'm back with another tutorial. Um, today we'll be discussing the swing cut. So this is probably one of the cuts that I do the most um, just because I use it as kind of a fidget move. It's my default thing I do when I pick up a deck of cards, whether I'm doing cardistry or magic, I'll just, you know, naturally cut the deck up a few times and then do whatever I'm going to do. So I think this is a really important move, uh, not just because you can use it for a lot of things, but also because a lot of cuts require it as just a part of the cut. For instance, like in Hex, right there, there's one swing cut and here's another, right? So it's just a good move to learn. It looks natural. Like nobody picks up a deck of cards, you know, and right, like. <laughs> We're just gonna hop right into this. Hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Okay, so hopefully this shouldn't take too long. It, you know, it's really not too hard. There are two main parts to this cut. The first part is just lifting packets off this side, and the second part is just grabbing them with your other hand. So pretty much with this hand, you wanna grip it third, third and fourth finger on this side of the deck, just right next to the corner, your thumb, your thumb should be kind of right about there-ish. Like you don't want your thumb too far over here uh, because it can slip off the corner. I mean, you could, but you definitely don't want your thumb too far on this side because then you won't be able to clear the top packet. So yeah, just, just have your thumb on like this side of the deck, anywhere you want, it's fine. Uh, third finger, fourth finger, fourth finger can kind of go on the corner. It really doesn't matter as much, but mostly your third finger. So the main motion here is you're using your index finger to break off a bit of a packet, right? And then you just pull the packet up towards yourself. And if you're doing it right, you should be able to move this packet around. Like it takes a little bit um, of time just to, you know, get used to it and feel comfortable with just swinging a packet around. But this is about as much motion as you need. So again, just grab it here, here, fourth finger, you can even take it off and just literally just pull up with your index finger. Slight tip is if you slant your hand a little bit this way, it'll be easier to clear your middle finger because if you grab it straight up and down like this, might run into a few more issues. So grab the deck, you know, familiarize yourself with that, get a good angle. Now your left hand, um, that, that's if you're right-handed. If, if it's the other way, then, you know, go ahead and mirror this, but if you're right-handed, your left hand is now going to come in and you're going to use this part right here, this part of your hand and your thumb to kind of pinch the deck. So it's not a grab, it's a, it's a pinch, just, yeah. So you cut the packet and you pinch it right about, right in the middle there, right? So you bring it up, you pinch it and you pull away, right? So now you have one packet here. Now, just keep in mind, that's the main movement, all right? But when you do it a second time, instead of placing it here, which, which you know, would seem natural and pulling, that kind of separates the cards like that. So instead, you're gonna use this edge here with your thumb. So you turn it 90 degrees, place your thumb there, pinch it, and put your thumb slightly on this side so it'll pivot down, not pivot down, it'll, It'll clean up when, when you pull the other packet away. So first one goes there, second one, 90 degree angle, thumb a bit to this side, pull, and just repeat that, right? And the packet should come off cleanly every time. So speed that up, you know, should be pretty nice. At the very end, if you want a little flourish, you can do kind of a bookend. And pretty much what you do there is you just get down to your last packet, you put your fourth finger on this side, keep your middle finger there, and you push up with your thumb, brace with your index finger. So again, fourth finger on this side, middle finger on the side, index here. Flip it over and close it like a book. So all together should look like that. Um, and that is the swing cut. All right guys, so that's the swing cut. I promise it's not that hard, just spend a little bit of time to make sure it flows nicely, to make sure you're confident handling the deck. And 
I think, you know, as I said in the intro, it's my go-to cut when I pick up a deck of cards. Because, um, you know, personally, I feel like if, if you do some overly fancy cardistry cut, every time you pick up a deck of cards, you can seem a little bit like you're trying to prove something. Either way, I think it just, you know, it's not too flashy, but it looks really nice. You know, it's a, it's a good balance. If you like this video, be sure to check out some of the other tutorials I've done. I'll link the playlist at the end of this video. Um, check out my Instagram in the description below just for some cool B-roll, magic content, pictures, fun stuff like that. And um, stay tuned for more tutorials and other stuff that should be coming up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.